This is my ZVS driver. Sorry if you can't see it too well because this lamp may uh, put a glare on everything, but otherwise you couldn't really see it because YouTube makes everything so dark. But this is my ZVS driver circuit right here. It's using two IRF P460 MOSFETs. They're uh, 20 amps at uh, 500 volts. Uh, I didn't use the uh, stronger MOSFETs, the 30 amp 200 volt ones. I can't really remember all the specs about them, but I didn't use those because I'm not planning on using it for really high powers. But it's not really working right right now because it'll only pull maybe two amps from my power supply. <clears throat> it can only supply, it's 20 volts and can only supply 1.7 amps, but it doesn't really matter because the ZVS doesn't even try to pull any more than that. At first I was using some IGBTs, insulated gate bipolar transistors. Uh, they were 60 amps at 600 volts, but um, I don't really know how, but they blew up. Um, I didn't even hear a pop or anything, they just stopped working all of a sudden, so I just replaced it with these. Uh, that's the inductor, it's just, um, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's, uh, green and blue, wait, <laughs> it's only green, but, oh wait, there it is, it's blue on that side and green on the other side and around the rim. There's about uh, somewhere between 20 to 30 turns on here. Uh, yeah, I know that's not enough, but I don't know if that's a cause of wh why everything's not working right. But And yeah, I know I have too much wire, really, uh, for it to run correctly, but I tried it with really short wires. They were only about 6 inches long, and it went directly to the capacitor and from the capacitor straight to the uh, load or... The primary for the flyback. Uh, the strange thing that I noticed is that, um, well, first let me show you my flyback. This is uh, 10 turns center tapped. It works, but it'll only pull maybe 2 amps at the max. It starts to trip the overcurrent on here, but. Um, it only does that when it's a very small arc. Uh, so I know that it's not going to try to pull any more than maybe 2 or 3 amps, which isn't really enough for me because I like it to be powerful. Uh, right now I just have it connected to uh, maybe 20 to 30 turns of wire. I know that's probably too much for a real induction heater, but this is I've got the best performance with this in about five seconds it gets too hot to touch comfortably so it's not really working well but it's okay for maybe 20 or 30 watts uh, let me set the camera down and I'm just gonna uh, heat up the screw right here alright so I'm now It's pretty hot. Uh, I got better performance with it the other day. Like in 10 seconds, it was melting all of that wire, the insulation off of the wire on the coil. But whatever. Uh, by the way, this is just a flyback coil with the uh, 10 turns center tapped on here, and then six turns for the secondary. I do this so that I can power the induction heater. Uh, I then found out that you can just use, you know, the center tapped, uh, a center tapped work coil for an induction heater, but I tried that with set, uh, 14 turn center tapped, and it pulled too much current even without, uh, even without anything in it to heat up, so, doing it like this, I guess, well, there's enough leak in, leakage inductance so that it, uh, won't pull too much. So, I'm just stuck with it doing this way. But for some reason, no matter what I do, with the uh, flyback transformer, it just doesn't pull much current. Uh, I'm going to show you that now. I have to disconnect everything and connect it up to the primary on the uh, flyback. And I know that the flyback is good, and I haven't burned it out on the ZVS or anything like that, because 
I've uh, pumped a lot of power through it, about 200 watts at very high voltage, like maybe 30,000 volts, probably even more. You can see that on one of my other videos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this and show you what happens. But I use alligator clips because they don't they didn't really make the performance change in any way. Uh, but it makes it a lot more convenient for changing from induction heater to a uh, flyback transformer. <clears throat> it doesn't really change the performance at all. I can't really remember, but if I recall correctly, uh, the flyback actually runs better with that uh, ferrite transformer with the uh, six turns of secondary and the ten turn center tapped primary. But I'm not too sure. Alright. Alright. See, that's about all I get from it. They're a lot bigger in reality, but they're still pretty small. It's only about maybe three fourths of an inch. All I know is that it's not quite an inch. And it's not really flaming hot or anything like that. It's just a thin purple arc. It's not thread-like, but it is thin. Uh, but something weird that I found out is if I short one of the internal primaries, the uh, voltage is less, but I get a lot higher current, which I don't really get why that happens. Those are flaming, but it's lower voltage. And it doesn't pull such a load from my uh, uh, power supply. I don't get why shorting one of the primaries would uh, give it this effect, but I was just experimenting with it and found that out. Uh, this is my power supply. Uh, that little light. It's on right now. Uh, the more that dims, you can tell the more current it draws. Uh, right there, that's um, that's on, but it's idle, not drawing any arcs or anything. This is drawing a small arc, and as you can see, it's uh, tripping it when I have a very small arc. You can see that the arc stops when it trips. But when it's a direct short, as you can see, it looks like it's drawn no, uh, no current. See, there's no difference. That's a direct short, and that's uh, no load. <coughs> but I'm going to go ahead and connect the uh, isolation transformer thing up and hook it up to the to the 10 turns on the flyback and I think I don't really remember but I think it gives me better performance so just take a sec the video is already about 8 minutes and 35 seconds long so I gotta hurry up I didn't mean to take this long but I had to explain it uh, so if anyone can help me uh, I would very much appreciate it I could probably get somewhat better performance if I uh, d had some better wiring, but I don't really care at this point because until I can get it to draw the amount of current that I want, I'm not going to really put any more time into it. Alright, I got the isolation transformer thing hooked up. Now the arcs are very hot, but it's lower voltage. You can tell there's a lot more power coming out of this. I wish I had a better camera so you could see how hot they were, but... And... This is a power supply again. Uh, this is with a uh, longer arc. This long. And 
Okay, just a sec. That's directly shorted. That's drawing the small arc. So really, it doesn't dim the light at all, but it gives me better performance. Just kind of melted the uh, stuff around the pin, so it's kind of smelling here now. I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, video with this. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, that's the circuit right there. And that's a capacitor. I'm only using one of these. It's uh, the CDE 0.68 microfarad 1600 volt capacitor. It's overkill, but I just want, I don't have anything better. So, Alright, if you could help me out, I'd appreciate it.